What's up, what's up with your butter? What's up, bestie? And welcome back to my channel. And welcome to your favorite with your messy self story time. I hope you guys are excited to see little old me again. And I hope you guys had a fantastic week, weekend, whenever you're watching this girl. Because you know I love you and I always got you. So grab your wine, snacks, and everything you need. Because I got some tea, girl. One of my friends that was involved in this story, she is about to marry the love of her life. And we are long past this. So let's talk about it. Once upon a time, not long ago, I went to summer. Jam. I always heard that it would get like a little ratchet and a little crazy and things would pop off. I just wanted to experience it for the one time, okay? And I was actually already making videos at this time. Beesh. I said beesh. I actually made a vlog about getting ready for this event. And I'll, I'll put a little clip right here. Oh my God, I was such a baby. Stop it right now. Your girl's hella excited. I'm trying to get all cute. I wear a Run DMC crop top with some little booty shorts, my hair curly and big. I was doing the damn thing. I get ready, we get all cute, and we head to Summer Jam, and we're gonna be meeting up with a few of our friends. One of the couples we knew really well, like the dude that was a part of the couple, he was kind of friends with David, like they had hung out before, and then his girl and I became really good friends, and I'm gonna name them. So the guy that knew David, we're gonna name him. Armando is with my girl Jessica, okay? Jessica's cousin is there, we're gonna call her Lisa, and Lisa's with her man, and we're gonna call him Luis, okay? So Armando, Jessica, Lisa, Luis. You got it? You got it? You hear? Okay, cool. I only met her cousin Lisa and this guy Luis maybe like two or three times before we decided to go to this concert, okay? So they were still kind of like, they were like on the acquaintance list, all right? But Armando and Jessica, home skillets. Summer Jam is so freaking far. It was such a hot mess to get over there. There was so much traffic onto the highway, okay? We had to sit in our car for so long. It was literally like a three hour ordeal of us just sitting in our car to just get to the venue, to just park like half a mile away and then walk our butts all the way over. And I'm trying to look all cute and not sweat off my makeup. Girl, it was a mess. And the dead of summer, I remember one of the headliners for this year was Iggy Azalea, okay? I loved Fancy, I loved that song. I used to bop to that song, okay? So we finally get inside and we are just sweating and just, <sighs> cause it was just so much. Y'all, inside was a madhouse. There were like sections, but there was no assigned seating. This is outdoor seating. And like the first portion of it was cement stairs essentially that you just stand on. And then there's a whole fence and behind the fence is people that are just like standing in a field. Per the tickets that we purchased were a little bit more expensive so that you could be on this side of the fence. But if you want just like a regular schmegular ticket, girl, you gotta be on the other side of the fence. And I did not know this. So we get there and we find like our spot, meet up with our friends and I see Jessica and I'm like, hey girl, and we're like taking pictures, so cute, mwah, mwah, mwah. And the boys start talking and we're all sitting next to each other and I look behind me and I'm like, what is that gay? And Jessica was like, girl, Girl, like that's what they give like just regular ticket holders like you gotta like stand on the she was like that's why I told you to like buy the a little bit extra ticket because girl and I was like you're lying and she had been on the other side of that fence like the year prior and she was like bitch it was it was very ratchet like <laughs> we got there pretty early because we knew that it was gonna be a madhouse and um so we had some time to like kind of chill out take pictures you know we're like walking up and down the steps and within a blink of an eye it is like shoulder to shoulder shoulder crowded and you can barely move around. So the show is about to start and David leans over to me and he was like, hey babe, I'm gonna go get us some drinks real fast before it gets too crazy. And I was like, oh yes, good idea. David, Armando and Luis, they take off and they're gonna get all of us girls drinks. And so we give them our drink orders and they're like, okay, we'll be right back. And, and it's just me and my girls and we're just hanging out. More and more people start filing in and we're having to like work really hard to make sure that there's still enough space for the boys to come back. Because girl, if you're not careful, people will steal your spot and be trying to smoosh up against you. And I'm like, yeah, this is for my man. It's for my man. Straight up, we had like our backs against each other, like looking at 360. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. Cause I will fight at Summer Jam and be that one, okay? Five minutes goes by, 10 minutes goes by, 15 minutes goes by. 20 minutes goes by and the boys aren't back yet and the concert is starting. Y'all, I'm having a good time. I'm like, hey! But I feel like the vibe switch with Jessica and Lisa. They're not aying with me, girl. They seem worried, they seem quiet, and they do not seem like they're having a good time at a concert, girl. And I look over at my girl and I'm like, what's wrong? And I could just see it all over her face that something was wrong. And I was like, what's the matter? The boys aren't back yet. 
okay? Immediately, I'm like, girl, there's like a lot of people here. Can you imagine what the lines are for the drinks? Like, they'll be back, don't worry about it. So, you know, I just kind of shoo-shoo it off. And they're like, yeah, you're right. And so, bam, we all get back into it. Ow. And don't worry about it, well, they'll be right back. So they're like, okay. So they kind of get into it. One song passes, two song passes. We're on to the next artist, okay? And I don't even know how much time passed, but at this point, I'm starting to look at the situation sideways. And I'm like, okay, that's enough. Where's my man? Don't be like me. But I was so fearless back then that I was like, you know what, F it. I'm just gonna go find David. And I took off. I did not wait for Lisa. I did not wait for Jessica. I'm not waiting on you. Like, just hold the seats. I'm about to go find my man. So I get out of like this little row and like I'm on the stairs and I was texting David. I get a text back from David. He's telling me that he's in this long line, but still I was like, so much time had passed. I'm not gonna lie. I was like looking at this situation sideways and I was like, oh, post wow, like really you want me to believe that you've been in line? So I took off. And I I was like, bet. I was crazy back then. I was like, let me catch you slipping because like there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of tail flaunting around here. And girl, when you're going to Summer Jam, there's not a whole lot of clothing happening. I'm, that's all I'm gonna say, okay? So I was like, try me if you want to. Cross the whole arena and I go into like this little area where all of the vendors are and, there, and sure enough, there are so many people in line and there's like different lines for different things and I see David immediately. As I'm walking up to him, I'm like, looking around and I'm like, wait a minute, this boy left in a group of three. Why is he by himself? Luis and Armando, nowhere to be found. So I walk up to David and I'm like, hey babe. Good thing too, he was looking down at his phone cause I wanted to see, are you, are you scanning? Let me find you scanning. No, I'm just kidding. And my first question was like, where are the guys? Like, where do they go? Are they getting like another drink? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Like, babe, I don't know. Uh, They tried to convince me to leave with them. To where? I don't know, like some party or something else that's going on right now. David's like recounting this and he was like, it was so fucking weird. It was just out of nowhere. We're standing in this line and they're like, bro, let's just leave. Let's just dip. And they told David to come with them. And David was like, where? He was like, they said some sort of party or something. I didn't really understand what the hell they were talking about. Apparently these boys were telling David over and over and over and over, nah, just leave them, just leave the girls here. Like they wanted to come, like, come on, let's just dip. Like I got my car, like, you know, we can just go have some fun on our own. Y'all, I am listening to this and I'm like, so they left? Yeah. He was like, the way that they said it, it was just like so nonchalant, just like leaving their girls here. So I wait with David to get the drinks. We did stay in the line because I needed to process this, first of all. And secondly, I needed to figure out how am I going to break it to these girls when I get back to our area um, for the concert? How am I going to break it to them that they mans, both that they mans already left? They are not here anymore. So I decided the best way to go about it was maybe bringing them some drinks and then telling them. So that's exactly what we did. So we stayed in line, we got the drinks, we head back to our section. Y'all, I don't know why I have to be put in these positions, girl. So like we get back to our area, they look up, they see me, they see David, and immediately they are so relieved and they're like, oh my God, you found them. Oh my God, where were y'all? Take this, <clears throat> take a sip of that, just take out. Um, actually do like three sips, long sips, girl, long sips. Don't, don't punk out, don't punk out. Immediately, it's evident, Armando, Luis, not here, okay? They are not with David. And keep in mind, I'm in this situation with music blasting and everyone else around us is having the time of their life, okay? So you got jumping, you got all kinds of sh like all kinds of smoke and like all kinds of things happening. So like, I'm literally trying to like yell at her and I'm like, hey, I don't know what happened, but they're not here. And she's looking at me and she's like, what? And I am yelling and I'm like, they're not here. And she was like, what do you mean? So girl, we have this whole conversation and like, she's like, what? And like the whole thing, it's not making any sense. Why would it make sense? Why would it make sense to anybody that your man goes to get you some drinks and he just ain't here? Like what? And her cousin is behind her and doesn't even seem really phased at all. And she just kind of just stood there and it's like she knew what I was saying the whole time and she was like, like, not even phased. The one that was phased was my girl, Jessica. And she was like, Nikki, what are you talking about? So finally, another artist goes on stage and it's, bit, it's a bit more of a quiet set. I don't know what's going on. 
I'm trying to let you know that they left. And she was like, well, how do you know that they left? Like maybe they went to the bathroom. Girl, at that point, David was like, nah, nah, Jessica, like they, they left. She looks at David and you could tell that her heart was breaking into a million pieces. She pulls out her phone, she starts texting him. And at this point, me and David are like, what do we do? So we just kind of like start trying to sway to the music, knowing that all of this is going down and both of these girls' mans just left them here, girl, like, she better than me because they stayed for the rest of the concert. They stayed with me and David. So she's pissed and she ends up like just defiantly putting her phone away. And she was like, you know what? Whatever. Like we're gonna have a good time. Like we're not gonna we're not gonna let them destroy our time. And so now she's partying out of anger. And you know when you partying out of anger, you're singing every song, heartfelt tears. Like you know, fuck that, you know. So she's like rage partying at this point. And I'm like, okay, okay, yeah. It was messed up, girl. I ain't even gonna lie. That was messed up. And I looked over at David. I said, good decision. Good decision. Because you know, that'd have been the last of you, homie. That'd have been the last of you. I'm not even feeling bad for Jessica. I'm mad. I am so mad. And I'm like, let me see Armando. Let me see that stranger Luis. End of concert comes around. Everybody, it is a whole mess getting out of this venue. Just as it was getting into it. Because there's so many people. So we're filing out. And at this time, I can hear Jessica and Lisa kind of like talking amongst themselves and they're freaking out. We get to the front of the venue. We're about to like, you know, walk to our car and Jessica and Lisa stop me and David and they were like, hey, like we hate to ask, but can you drive us home? Because we came with the boys and they took the car. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, get y'all, both of y'all get in my car right now. Both of y'all get in my car right now. We're going to get food. We're gonna go get drinks. We're gonna go back to my place. We're gonna have a good time. And like, I don't wanna hear about these boys, okay? Like, we're gonna forget, the way that they try to forget y'all, we gonna forget them. Like, just forget them. Like, siakabo, like, this is some stupid, stupid y'all. I was so mad. I was like, get in my car, get in my car. So they get in the back of my little bitty Scion and David drives us home. And the whole time, David is just shaking his head and he was like, how could they just, they for real, straight up just left them and I was like David you need to have better friends and he was like I don't even hang out with him that much like we're just mutuals and I was like okay we'll be mutuals with better people because that is crazy we leave and all of a sudden um, Jessica gets a text from her man Armando phone calls are being had yelling is going on in the back seat and we had to stop at a gas station she got out of the car she's like by the pump, just pacing back and forth. And I mean, just cussing him up one side and down the other. It wasn't just like, oh, they're dating for a few months, for a few weeks, and like, you know, he's not like tied to her. No, girl, they live, to, they live together. Both of these women lived with these men. One of them had a baby with one. So like, girl, uh-uh, uh-uh, mm-mm. Them just fighting words. Like, you, you ain't getting back in the house after that. Absolutely not. You about to leave me? At Summer Dream? She has her fight. She tells him off. She's like, don't you bring your butt home tonight. I do not want to see you go to your parents. And he was like, where are you going? She was like, I'm going out. I'm going out. You don't need to know where I'm going. And, but she was actually coming to my house. So we stopped at the liquor store on the way to our apartment, especially Luis's girl, Jessica's cousin. Girl, she had been through it with her mans. I end up preaching, okay? I end up preaching and having a little mini church come to Jesus moment at my apartment where I was standing up in front of both of them and I was like, you deserve better and you're worth more than that. And y'all need to realize y'all's worth and y'all are queens and you do not let some little dusty, musty little boys treat you like this. And don't don't you go back and lick up all of this mess because they are not worth it and like y'all deserve better. I'm always of the mindset like don't treat me like that. And I told them my mindset, I was like the minute I get a whiff of any sort of disrespect, out because like life is too short so please like girl I was like let me tell you something if David David had the exact same decision to make today. They told him to go more than once. If he would have made that decision and <laughs> Later on that night, we took them back to Jessica's place and they both went inside. I make myself very clear. I do not like either one of these dudes. I want nothing to do with them. I don't even want to see their face. That's my friend. And you're not about to do my girl like that. So like, no. I made myself very clear. There was absolutely no gray area. Fast forward, like a little bit of time, maybe a week. So shortly after, 
David texts me and he's like, hey, you know, I got to stay at work for this amount of time. I'm all the way out here. It's going to take me this time. You know, long story short, can you go pick up Julian from school today? And I was like, yeah, I got you. No worries. Like, I was planning on doing that anyway. And he was like, yeah. Um, he was like, now the next part I'm going to ask you, you can completely say no. But, you know, I do have a haircut scheduled for him. Um, so if you want to take him, that's cool. If not, like, I'll take him another day. And I was like, no, nah, I'll go get my baby's haircut. Don't even worry about it. Just send me the barbershop info. And he was like, all right, cool. Thank you so much. So I go get Julian's little cute self from school. And I just, oh man, when he was in elementary school, I used to love going to pick him up. It was just me and him. We'd go on little adventures together. And then we go to the barbershop to go get his haircut. And the barbershop was in this little shopping center and there was a pet store right next door. We got there kind of early, so I knew that there was gonna be a wait. Julian asked if he could go see some of the puppies in that pet store right next door um, while I go sign him in. And I was like, yeah, baby. I was like, I'm gonna be right there, you know, go ahead. So I watch him go inside of the pet store and you know, I'm right next door. I step into the barbershop right next door. I go up, they have this little iPad. I put my number in and I sign Julian in. And all of a sudden, Nikki, what's up? What you doing here? Armando, don't hide. What's up? What you doing? We not friends. I'm surprised to see you here. You usually just like leave. Not only is he a barber at this establishment, he is the one that David made Julian's appointment with. Why are men this way? Why? I have to bite my tongue. I get an attitude, I leave, I go next door, I look at the puppies, and I am just seething, okay? And I text David and I was like, what in the world do you think that you're doing? And he was like, what? Like, what happened? And I was like, what do you mean, what, what happened? You, you didn't tell me that you made Julian's appointment with Armando. No, he was like, you don't have to go in there if you don't want to. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna have my baby go without a haircut because of this, but like, I really would, I wish I would have known. Cause like, you know, now I gotta fix my face. So girl, I have to go back over there and sit there for like a good half hour while Armando is sitting there cutting Julian's hair and trying to make small talk with me. And I'm trying to be ma a mature adult in front of my kid. And I can't just be going off and like talking about like, how you gonna leave my girl at Summer Jam, you stupid. You know what I mean? Like, and I, girl, I y'all already know. Y'all know that I'm a fan of confrontation because confrontation doesn't always have to be a bad thing, but you will know that you done messed up and we are not about to sweep everything under the rug and you gonna be talking to me like we're friends because we're not friends. This was a very hard moment for me because I really had to maintain composure, girl. He finishes Julian's haircut, he takes the cape off, he goes like this so that I can come look at it and I walk up, hmm, it'll do for now, but you know what, next time I'm just gonna take you to your Theo Mijo because, you know, I did, I did. I'm, I'm not gonna act like I'm super impressed by your work because I'm not. Y'all, we go up to that front and I look at Julian and I said, hey Mijo, why don't you go sit over there real fast while I pay for this, okay? And he was like, okay. So I have him go sit by the front door, I turn around, Armando's right in front of me. He starts typing away on that iPad. He turns that iPad around, ready for payment, and I'm just sitting there. Cash or card? Neither. Neither. Other barbers stop what they're doing and look over. I'm causing a little mini scene. Girl, silence. And I'm like, you, you want me to go farther? You want me to go farther? Because we can. We sit there in silence for a second. Kid's haircut is like $20. And an Uber ride is about the same. And seeing as how I took your girl and her cousin home the other day, you owe me for my gas money. So this haircut for my son will be free and you ain't getting no tip. Thank you so much, Armando. You have yourself a great day. Come on, Julian, let's go, puppy. Let's go see your dad. I sure did. Nobody got upset. Nobody demanded money because he knew. Because I would have started a whole scene. I, I really would have. I really would have. So anyways, y'all, that is a story about the time that my friend's mans were, both of them were on some mess. And sometimes it's really hard as the friend to see your friend going through stuff like that. And then you have to be nice to this person or cordial with them the next time you see them. And I can't. I have a hard time. I do. Like, God has to work on me some more. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Thank y'all so much for coming to chill with me for story time today. Definitely hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Send it to somebody that can relate. And don't forget to subscribe because I would love to see your pretty face the next time I post, which will be very, very soon. Y'all be safe out here. I love y'all so, so much. And I will see your fine self in my next video. Peace out, y'all.